Hi, James here from Siege Stoves. Today I'm going to show you a very effective method of stacking fuel into our flat pack stoves as well as canister stoves. A technique that enables a fire to establish itself in the stove with no maintenance required. You can use any size can with our universal cross members, but in this case we're using an IKEA canister. To ignite the fire, we are going to use a fire steel. It's a good idea to have multiple means of making fire, such as cheap lighters and stormproof matches. For tinder, you can use synthetic materials that burn well, such as inner tubing, and keep dryer lint in a film capsule. Or even better, collect natural tinder, such as this tree sap and old wild honeycomb we found, and other materials such as these sycamore seeds and cattails. In this case, we are going to use just a tiny amount of cotton wool from a single cotton swab, which will easily ignite from a single spark. To begin with, we sorted the dry twigs we collected into several grades, from the very thinnest twigs up to the thickest that one can snap. We've had some rain recently, so we collected the twigs from dead branches in the air, instead of off the ground where they would be damp. We use trays, but in the bush you can sort the twigs on any dry surface. You can use just twigs in your fire, but if you want to grill, it helps to have some thick pieces, such as these, which will build a bed of coals for continuous heat output, long after the flames have died down. For grilling, charcoal works very well, but in this case we are opting for completely free materials gathered in nature. We used loppers to cut these while they were newly fallen and then dried and stored them in barrels. Out in the bush, a folding saw or hatchet is handy to have for cutting thick pieces whenever needed. The wood we are using is photinia, oak splits and manzanita, and the twigs are mostly plum, but you can use whatever wood that works well for your location. I sped up this video to save you time. On our website we have a photographic guide to this same process. For this sideways burning technique, we use a single sheet of thin phone book paper for each stove, but you should be able to improvise with natural materials that have a similar ability to ignite easily. We fold the two sheets accordion or fan style and then tear them in half and stack them vertically against one side of the stove. The key is to build a wall of the finest twigs against the paper, while gradually layering in the other sticks. During this stacking, we intersperse a small number of the thick chunks of wood, beginning with a few on the bottom. Build in gaps between the wood to enable good airflow through the fuel. When you are ready to start the fire, fan out the tiny pieces of cotton and wedge them in at the top between the folds of paper. Attach the top cross members and you are ready to go. In the next video you can see how well this fuel loading technique works when we light fires in the two stoves. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and visit us at siegestoves.com, where you can learn more about the most versatile camping and survival stove on the planet, made in the USA from US-produced materials, including aerospace-grade titanium and high-quality stainless steel. Thanks for watching.